Hey everybody, it's Rob. Hey, I know I've been gone a while. Um, you know, weather and case of the lazies, shit like that. You know, it's been a couple months, just kind of been laying around. So, you know, starting to get warm down here again. So we'll start making some more videos. This video here uh, is going to be real short and sweet. It's going to be kind of funny. Kind of like a public service announcement for guys, fellow men looking out for each other. But before I get too far into it, I want to try to start a new tradition with my videos. Kind of something that's near and dear to my heart, and that's veterans. What I've got here, turn this around. If you've not heard of it, let me get out of the sun there. Oh shit. If you haven't heard of this, it's called Dog Tag Brewing. In all honesty, I'm not getting paid by these guys. They don't even know I'm doing these videos. But this is just something that I thought was really freaking cool. So you can see it's dedicated. Honor education. Celebrate. It's for the Gold Star families. If you don't know what those are, look it up. Good information. But what's cool about this is on the back of every can is a fallen veteran. And I don't know if you guys can see that or not. This... Particular can is Gunnery Sergeant Jonathan Gifford from Palm Bay, Florida, United States Marine Corps. He was with MARSOC, uh, Marine Special Operations Command. Born 11 August 77 and was killed 29 July 2012. All the proceeds to this stuff goes to the Gold Star families, which is the families of fallen veterans. What I would like to try to do is, at the beginning of all my videos from this point forward, I'm going to have a beer in celebration of these guys that have lost their lives protecting all of us and all the stupid shit that we do. Here's to the veterans. Okay, on to the video. A couple of months back when I was taking my son to school, you know, 17 year old, he's got just as many perverted thoughts in my head as his head as I do mine, so uh, we both got a kick out of it. But this is something that Guys, you got to watch out for, and this is only going to be for Ford truck drivers because I don't know how Chevy or Dodge, how they work, but I want to show you something. <clears throat> As we all know, cell phones will be the death of us. So what I want to tell you all is if you watch videos on your phone, you got to be careful when you get in your car. And I'm going to show you here in a minute um, what I'm talking about. And like I said... It popped up in my truck, you know, one morning on the way to school, and I felt like an ass. But the reason I want to do a public safety or a public service deal is because the last thing you want is to, if you're like us, you're a one-truck family. I got my truck. I drive every day. My wife has her car. So when we do the boating thing, we all pile into the truck. Now, I have a Spanish wife. And any of you out there that have Spanish, Mexican, Cuban, just Latina or Hispanic wives, you know that they're, they have a little bit different sets of crazy than white chicks or black chicks or, you know, they all got their own little pieces of crazy. Mine is, she sees porn as adultery um, in her mind. She is so against it, you can't even joke about it with her. So the last thing in the world I want is to have something pop up in my truck and ruin an entire day of, of boating because, in all honesty... I'd be out there on, on the boat all by myself. So here's what I'm going to show you. I'm not going to show you on the phone because that's probably going to get that'll get uh, get me kicked off here. But um, I'm going to pause here and I'm going to head in my truck and I'll show you what I'm talking about. Okay. So here I am in my truck. And again, this is for Ford because I don't know how everybody else how their truck works. Mine's a 2015, and here's what it does. This is the main screen on my dash, right? connects to my phone but it shows you the last thing your phone was connected to and what you were doing so yep you see that sun's getting out there so that's that's what it does <laughs> and let me tell you something it's a little bit easier to explain that shit to my son because you know he got a kick out of it too but i'm just telling y'all watch some youtube thing before you get in your truck to clear it out because that's what it does, man. It throws up the last thing your phone was playing. And none of us want to have that argument with our wives. Unless you got a wife that watches it with you. Then, hey, good on you. So that's it for now. Again, like I said, just going to be a real quick video. This is kind of like uh, one guy looking out for the next. So be careful. And if you got a Dodge or a Chevy or a GMC, whatever whatever other kind of stuff, and it does the same thing, chime in on the video so uh, you know the rest of us can, can know and, and uh, 
and kind of look out for each other. I got a new video coming out uh, after this one. Hopefully, I'm going to get it done this weekend. We're going to talk about some boat launch etiquette at the at the boat launch and women doing the trailers uh, back in the boats and the trailers up. Um, they can do it. And my wife does it. She's in charge of the truck. Every time we go out, we get there, do everything uh, with the boat. I'm in the boat. She has full control over the truck. So I'm going to get into a little bit more detail with that because uh, I get a lot of get a lot of questions about that, believe it or not. So anyway, that's coming. And uh, I'll have some new links to the anchors for this upcoming boating season so y'all can get some good deals on some uh, Mantis anchors. So until then, happy trails.